talk about Star Wars. Now for any Trekkies in the audience, please bear with me. Like many of you, I grew up with Star Wars, and it is a major part of my life. I knew Han and Chewie before I knew Sesame and Street. Star Wars is thrilling, intricate, and moving. But most of all, I enjoy knowing that my midi-chlorian count is higher than my SAT score. <laughs> now, today I won't be talking about whether or not Han shot first, nor why Luke made out with his sister, but about how this space opera epic sparked a franchise that transformed the lives of millions. From the thrilling music composed by John Williams to the memorable storylines of the Star Wars series, Star Wars appeals to a diverse audience and had an immense impact on our pop culture and our society. During the 1970s, the term princess connoted hyperfemininity, tacitness, <coughs> and sexualization. And if we look at Cinderella, she is saved from terrible living conditions by Prince Charming. But he doesn't do this because she's honest or hardworking. He does this because he thinks she's hot. <laughs> her sexuality saved her from her cruel relatives. But when Star Wars came out in theaters in 1977, Princess Leia proved to be different. She was beautiful, yes, but she was also courageous and resourceful. She endured torture and interrogation, risked her life to find a way of escape. Leia's character was not bound by gender roles and she almost always insisted on doing everything herself. People are not innately superior to others because of their gender, skin color, etc., etc. And I can't imagine how empowering it was to see Princess Leia on the big screen in 1977. Leia subverted the sexist damsel in distress trope and became a new female figure for many young girls to look up to, advancing gender equity. Economically, the Star Wars series has reached pinnacles of success in the consumer market. And the first Star Wars was an unexpected blockbuster success of $100 million in just three months, boosting 20th Century Fox from an almost bankrupt production company to a thriving media conglomerate. Now, as a result of Star Wars' success, Hollywood films shifted their focus from dramatic themes, conflict, and irony to computer-generated special effects in movies such as E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and Alien. In addition, Star Wars has had immense success with selling merchandise. And the American toy company, Kenner, took on the task of producing the first Star Wars toys. However, they weren't ready for the, un the popularity of Star Wars and the upcoming Christmas market. So instead, they sold the early bird certificate package, an empty cardboard box placeholder, which could be changed for the four Star Wars action figures. This was one of the first cases in which a mass production company could not meet the initial consumer demand. Nonetheless, though, over Star Wars' lifetime, $20 billion and counting of licensed goods have been sold. And Star Wars proved that merchandise can generate more revenue than the films themselves. Now, if that's not impressive enough, Star Wars fans have also taken it upon themselves to incorporate their passions into their progress. In 2005, Dean Kamen, the inventor of Segway, was approached by the United States Department of Defense to create an improved prosthetic arm for our military. Kamen's research firm nicknamed the project the Luke Arm, after Luke Skywalker's ultra-advanced bionic limb. And this project connects with the human nervous system to improve motion, control, as well as feeling. Now this Star Wars inspired project is a modern breakthrough in prosthetic science. Star Wars fans have also built other things, such as their own movie accurate costumes and real working droids, and brought their favorite characters into the real world in groups such as the 501st Legion and the R2D2 Builders Club. And these groups, Work to they work to volunteer in fundraising and charity work. And in 2013, the 501st Legion alone raised $32 million for charity. This worldwide community is a paragon of 
how passions can be used for progress. Star Wars suppressed gender roles. It pioneered new practices of the entertainment industry and gave back to the community. Even after four decades since its initial release, Star Wars remains as an integral part of our society. A galaxy far, far away is closer than we thought. And the Star Wars community also reveals a new hope for us, as they have incorporated their love for Star Wars into their work. And to quote my art history teacher, Mrs. Ray, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Thank you. We made it for you.